Hello everyone, it's me, your girl, Miss Nick, aka Nikki30263. Um, I know it's been a minute since I've done a video, and that's because I was having some issues with my um, internet signal out here at my apartment, as well as my computer. I have a um, new computer, as well as a new webcam, and my internet signal has been working. Um... I just wanted to say congratulations to the winner of my summer contest giveaway, Miss Raquel Yvonne. Congratulations. Your package is on the way. I hope you enjoy everything that's on the inside of the package, all the things that you won. And I want to you know, say thank you to everyone who submitted an entry and made a video. I really appreciate it. Um, it made the contest itself fun. Um, with that said, as you can see, on to new business. As you can see, um, my head is wrapped up with a towel. Um, don't have on any makeup because I'm just not getting over a really bad um, eye infection. That was totally random and unexpected. Um not really sure what the cause was, but I trashed um, some of my makeup just to be on the safe side because I really didn't know what happened or where it came from. Um, but that has cleared up, thank goodness. Um, but anyway, today is my wash day. I'm getting ready to go on vacation tomorrow, so I wanted to... Um, come up with a easy hairstyle that would um, keep me from having to do anything major to my hair. Um, it's kind of too hot for me to do any quick weaves or anything like that. Um, I've been wearing my hair pulled back into a ponytail and that's just been the gist of it. Um, but for vacation I wanted to do a a bun in the top of my head um in some full bangs so this video is basically going to be about um summer buns and i'm going to show you guys basically how i create this bun it's simple it's easy um doesn't really take that much time um i'm getting ready to put some conditioner on my hair then once I rinse it out, I'm going to let it air dry some, and then I'm going to, once it air dries the majority, um, I may even go through the process of blow drying it completely straight, and then brushing my hair up so it's even, because I don't want to do it wet, and then put the gel on it and set it that way. But um, if you want to see how it turns out, stay tuned, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I did my conditioner. I used the Afuji Keratin 2-Minute Reconstructor. Um, I just put this on my hair. It was two applications. It's on sale at Sally's for $1.99, as you can see. Um, I put this on my hair for two minutes, and I let it somewhat air dry, as you can see. And what I'm going to do now is apply my Design Essentials. Um, Design Essentials. Okay. My HCO leave-in conditioner and blow drying lotion. So I'm going to spray this on my hair to get it to detangle um, as well as prep it for um, me putting some heat to it to dry it some so I can um, go through the process of pulling it up. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I blow dry my hair, and the reason why I blow dry my hair um, partially before I started gelling it up is because I am ooh, four weeks um, post relaxer, so um, can't really tell that much, but yeah. It's been four weeks, some months since I had my last relaxer, and it doesn't look like it needs one, so I'm going to wait. Before I do it. Um, so what you'll need is some styling gel. I have my Ampro styling gel. 
and I have my setting lotion. It is, um, I think it's Lottie Body or maybe setting lotion, um, but it has olive oil in it. So, yeah, if you can see it, it's kind of green instead of blue. But anyway, so what I'm going to do now is gel my hair up. Okay, so I have my hair gelled up. Um, the reason why I was gelling and applying the setting lotion as I went along is to make sure that um, it's the even distribution of gel, even though it probably like I use a lot. But um, to make sure, it's to help to keep the gel pliable as well as to help lay the edges of my hair down um because i want my hair to be you know i want it to look like it's freshly relaxed let me see if i can to um to make sure it lays down flat but it doesn't look like i have too much waving in the back but you know what? I think what I may do is be um, inventive. I know y'all probably like, okay, she finna get ghetto. Some toilet paper. And this is clean toilet paper, you guys. I just rolled it up a little bit. Oops. And the reason why I'm doing this is to make sure that this back doesn't wave up. So this is... And they have wraps in the store for this. Um... They're either called the neck strips, the junior wraps, the junior strips, and you just, it's white. It has a little bit more stretch and give to it um, as opposed to this to toilet paper. <laughs> as opposed to the toilet paper. Um, I'm a little hammered. I just thought about what I saw on Media Takeout where the lady had um, went to the, she had wrapped her hand, she used toilet paper. But you know what? I don't care. You know, hey, I forgot to get my wraps. And I knew I was supposed to get them. And I knew it was something that I had forgot. And now I know why. Now I know what it was that I forgot. So y'all can talk about me laughing about laughing me and call me ghetto. But you know what? It is what it is. So what I'm going to do is go sit under the dryer for, um... Hopefully 30 minutes because my hair underneath is dry. That's another reason why I blow dried it before I gelled it up. To keep me from having to sit under that hot dryer longer. Because if I did it when it was still wet, it would have took me longer to dry. Which, that my dryer gets really hot. So, um, probably about 30 minutes I should be dry. So, I'll be right back.